When it comes to getting those web design and SEO proposals out, you want to be able to do so quickly and efficiently. So that on one hand, clients aren't waiting long to receive them. And on the other hand, you're not taking a lot of your precious time to create them. Now, of course, you can always have a Google Doc, and that's a great place to actually start in your business. I want to see you level up your game. That's why today I'm going to be sharing with you a free and a premium option to get those proposals that sell out without spending more than just a few minutes of your time. So let's take a look at the first option. We're going to kick things off by looking at better proposals. Now this is the premium option of the two. We're going to look at the free option here in just a moment. Now the reason that I've chosen to start with this option is because this of the two options is what I would consider a revenue generating tool. Why? Because this tool is going to make you money. This is what a lot of members in my next level program have used simply because it is so efficient and it generates them money. Why does it do this? Well, let me show you. If you don't have a proposal that you use yet, they have the templates that you can simply take and use as is. You can just tweak a little bit to your liking or to your particular client and they are very professional looking. They really make you look good. They really stand out but these proposals because they have so many proposals that go through their system they see what works and what doesn't work and as time changes they continue to research this to make sure that their proposals are very very effective so one you have a proposal that sells the second reason is because you're going to get stats like knowing exactly when the client opens your proposal you're going to know when they actually look at it you're even going to be able to see how long they spend on particular sections so that way you can know what you really need to focus on when you're talking to them. You can even call them up as they are looking at the proposal to be able to catch them right there when they are already on it. So that way you can help answer questions, you can guide them through it. And then the third reason why that this is so amazing is that they can then sign the proposal right here within the app and they can make their first payment. That's right. They can deposit the money for you to go ahead and get started. That is why this is revenue generating tool. And that is the difference between doing this in a Google doc versus using a software is that you don't have to ask them to pull up another software in order to sign it or to be able to print it and send it and scan it and anything else. And then also then be able to go somewhere else to be able to pay your invoice. You are losing money when clients have to go through that process. So that anything that we can do to make it easier, Easier for a client to sign and pay that is what you want to be able to do so that's what this does for you so to be able to send out a first proposal they really have a setup process that allows you to do this in 90 seconds is what they say here so you literally can upload your logo you can put in some basic information about your business here the service that you sell or services that you sell and then you go ahead and choose a proposal template so you can use the link below to start a 14 day free trial. I always recommend that if you are even considering a software that you use the free trial, you take advantage of it because this is how you're going to decide if this actually is something that's going to work for your business or not. And if it does great, you now have a new revenue generating tool in your arsenal. And if it doesn't, well, that's fine. Then you don't have to continue to use it here. So what's going to happen is after you fill out those few sections to set up your account, as you saw, it's really only a minute or so of work. And then you're gonna end up here in the template marketplace. This is where you can access your proposal. So as you can see, there's a lot of different types of proposals here. So what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and search for it. So let's say that you are searching for a web design proposal. Well, now it's gonna pull up all of the different options here. You have the contract killer, you have the website design, a simple website design, website support and maintenance. If you want to be specific to WordPress that you can do that. So all different kinds here. So let's say we want to select the main one here. If you want to preview this, you can do that. Otherwise you can simply click on get this and it's going to walk you through the process. So I'm not going to show you how to actually go in and, and customize this. It's really very, very easy. But here you'll be able to see the sections here. So it has a, a cover here. It talks about the introduction here. 
your new website as far as what they can expect, the process and time scales paid for itself in the first few weeks is where you can start to give your case studies or your reviews. Talk about the investment, which is obviously how much they're going to be paying. So you can customize all of that so they understand it, the guarantee terms, all of that. Now, if we come back over to the dashboard here, it is going to actually show you real data as you have your account coming in, but you're going to be able to see how many proposals that you have out, how much potential revenue that is for your business and how many of those have actually been approved. So you're going be able to start to see here how effective this is and how this helps you grow. You're also going to know your conversion rate, which is really, really helpful when you're doing your math for your agency and trying to see if you want to be able to get to a certain point when you know what your conversion rate is, you're going to know how many potential clients you actually need to talk to in order to land the number that you want. So this is going to help you with those numbers there. So all of your proposals, the ones that are accepted are going to be here and you're going to start to get more and more data as these go out. But that is how easy that is for you to be able to do and why this is that revenue generating tool. Okay, let's look at the free option. Let's take a look at a new option, which is called Bid Heap. This allows you to send out your proposals. It says just web design proposals, but you can absolutely send SEO proposals or other marketing proposals, and it doesn't cost you anything to do. Now it is free and for now, while they don't have any premium options available, you can also upload your own logo. There will be no branding of Bid Heap at all. And then you'll be able to download a PDF to be able to send off. So I'm going to show you how quickly you can do this. This is going to take you longer to do because you can't save this. And you're not going to be able to customize it. Perhaps that's an option they will add in the future, but for free, this does walk you through the very important parts of a proposal. And it really gets you thinking about what is most important because it asks you specific questions. So this is good. If you're trying to draft out your own proposal, understand what is important to add into a proposal you can do that. So let's start with get started here. Now this is going to take us to the business details here. And as you can see, there's a lot of information, but this is just some of your basic information uh, about you, your business. And then we're going to move on to the client details. So here you're going to start off by entering in their basic information here, and then you're going to move on to the challenge. And this is where you really do want to spend some time because you want to make sure the client fully understands their challenge you want to make sure they understand that you understand their challenge as well. So you're going to put in who the client is. You're going to talk about what their product or service is. What does the client actually hope to gain out of this? If you have any resources, you know, color palettes or other types of sources or websites, let's say that you may be pulling from, then you can add all of those in here. And then now that you've talked about the challenge, now you want to talk about the solution. So here's where you're going to be explaining more about what it is that you're going to do to help solve that challenge that you just talked about in the last section. Then you're going to give the quote for your work. You're going to put in what the product or service is, how much that cost is going to be. And since it has this add button down here, if there are multiple quotes that you want to give or multiple services or products you're adding in, then you can just keep adding to that list there. Same thing with the schedule. If you're going to be breaking down the project into multiple steps, you're going to talk about what the deliverable is going to be how many days it's going to take you. And if you're going to be doing that in house, if there is some part of the process that is going to be outsourced, you can mark that there as well. Now, next you're going to look at the required resources, and this is going to be, what does the client need to get you in order for you to be able to do your job? Just like in the other section, there's this add button. So you can click that and just keep adding as many things that you need to that list there. Next, we have the proposal terms. So this is where you want to put in any of your payment terms, your terms and conditions here. What I also like is that they ask for a proposal expiration date. So if you get this proposal and then the client waits weeks and weeks or several months, and then they want to come back and have you honor this, well, it has an expiration date on it. Once you have completed all of that information, well, then your proposal is going to be all put together for you into a PDF. And all you have to do is download it. 
Real quick before we look at this final template though, I wanna show you one thing here, and that is if you click on any question mark as you're going through these required fields, if you are unsure what one means, what you should put, you can always click on the question mark here and it will give you a description. All of them are gonna offer for you to download an example. That is going to be an example of a fully completed proposal template. So that way it'll give you some ideas on what to do. So let's go ahead and go over here to the next page. And now as you can see, our proposal is ready here. So what we will do is go ahead and download this. Keep in mind, this doesn't save it. So as you go, you just wanna go ahead and work your entire way through and then we can download it. So it has successfully downloaded. So now we can go ahead and pull this up. So here we are now on the final proposal. If you uploaded a logo, it is going to appear at the top here. See who is prepared by and for. We have the copyright section here and it gives the challenge. It gives all of the resources. So as you can see, it is all broken down and all of these sections are put on these different pages here, but you have all of the information here in a PDF that you can simply send over. So there is going to be an agreement page here so that they can go ahead and sign this and then they'll be able to sign this and send this right back over to you. So those are the two options that you have outside of just using a basic Google Doc. So hopefully this has given you some ideas on how you can get a bit more creative with your proposals and make sure that you're really talking about the points that are going to help you sell and land that deal. Let me know what you end up using down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.